Welcome to Photoshop and working with 3D. Now what you might notice here is I've got my motion track down here. I've got my 3D tools up here. I can click down and uh, play with um, light by putting new lights in. I can uh, work with the current lights here by clicking things on. Uh, I can just simply come up here and um, move my light around and like an object like so. I can even increase the size if I just command plus I'm on a Mac. Here's my size here. I'll click back onto just the elements. And um, even on the 3D, I can actually go through here and just move it around. Okay. Now, as I said, motion. Yes, motion. So down here, if I just click on that, we should see the character running. So I've been able to light it. I've been able to work with motion. So how do you do this with Photoshop? Well, I've been using Fuse in order to create the 3D and also the motion. Fuse and Mixamo. So how do I do this? Well, what I'm going to do is simply, I'm just going to save this one just for the time being. I really just want to show you the process of how you get it through from Fuse. And of course, you can go to town, add other elements and do whatever to load up some really quite cool scenery, especially if you're doing um, you know, some sort of a comp design or concept design where you want to mock up your characters. And they can be clothed or not, whatever you want to do. So let's just go through here and I'm just going to close this for the moment. I won't save that, but I've basically got this thing called a DAE file, a Collada file 3D. And this is the one that really enables um, good motion. Okay, You have OBJ and Collada files, DAE, but this is great for adding with the motion. So how do we do this? Well, let's go back right to the beginning. So what I want to do is I want to come down here and you can see I've got um, my 2017 including Fuse which actually was available last year and I'm just opening up Fuse I'm just going to create my character. I'll just go continue here. Now for this to work you need to just make sure you are signed into the Creative Cloud because your Creative Cloud license enables you to get full access to what I'm doing. So if it's not working that could be just lacking that access from your sign in. Anyway, um, here's a range of characters. Um, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do for a start, I think I'll just use the first one, get things going. I've just got a head graphic here, and I'm on the assemble stage. So I just want to bring that in, and what it's done when I've got my head, it's saying, well, here's the body, the body for A. So I'll just happen to use this one, and then the legs. And as you see, it's all starting to build up. Up here, you can see customize and clothing and texture. I'm not going to worry about too many of these things, just to really show you the process. Uh, I better put my arms on. I think I'm going to need arms for this. Okay. But as you can see, there's customize where you can customize the body. It's really up to you to play around with that. Clothing, and um, you can actually even play with some of the textures as well. Okay, but I'm just going to come straight back here. Just I'm still on the assemble stage. And what I want to do, I can save it to my CC libraries, but I want to save it to Mixamo for some animation. So I'm just going to click on that, and um, I'll call it um, Model Run, okay? But you can just name it whatever you want, and I'm just going to go Save. Now a little bit of process as it loads up, it can take say uh, a few minutes. It's exporting it as an OBJ file, but um, it's really what I want to bring it down to when I'm actually um, um, want to import it for whatever aspect into Photoshop. I want the Collada DAE file just so I can have some animation. So here we are just loading onto the site and this should bring up the website now where we can actually um, do something with the tools. Now this is just the free version. Uh, you, you'll see that you can actually buy assets and things like that but initially I just want to show you what you can do for free because it's pretty good even at that stage for putting some things together. So what I'm doing now is it's taking just uh, possibly up to about a minute uh, if you've got a reasonable connection just to load things up there. So hopefully that's going to not take too long as it's loading up and uh, it's well on the way now, probably just a few seconds. And here's my character, all animated. And basically it's not animated but it's rigged for animation or just a sample here. So you can still turn around and check things out. But, so, what I want to do, well, I'm pretty sort of happy with that. That looks fine. I'm just going to go um, finish. Okay. And I can view my assets, but I just want to go through and animate here. So auto-rigging has been done. Great. I didn't have to do anything manual. 
and I'm just coming into the animation area here. Now what I've got here is um, this is a standard range of scenes um, and I think I might just do a, a walking scene. Um, there's runs, there's all sorts of things. You can even have uh, a Dawn of the Dead type uh, characters if you want to or the, you know, the right textures obviously to match that here but I'm just going to do, oh, I think I might do a swagger walk. Looks pretty good so I'm just loading that um, swagger walk in place here. Um, in place, well not quite, I just want to click in place so it's just going to hold it in place so I don't have it walking off my scene. Of course you might want it to do that which is great as well but I just want this keeps in, keep this in place for the time being. So fantastic, so I've got my um, animation all done. Now that didn't take long did it? So just to check down here, that's everything I want, yep. So what I'm going to do is just going to add to my assets and I'll just click on that. Okay. And um, click on view download, that'll be the next one. Get my asset loading into place there. I just want to put on place again and uh, I'm just going to queue my download. Okay, so just queue download here and off we go. Now, as I mentioned, we can have um, or oh, OBJ, we can have FBX format, but this is where I just want to actually have the animation, so I'm going to go to a Collada file, but uh, and I certainly want to keep it. With uh, 30 frames a second, that sounds great. Keyframe reduction, no, I'm just going to stay with skin as well. Q download, and here we go. So now it's just going through and processing. So off we should go here, and I'm just going to um, download it. So there we go. Downloading my file. Now, how long has that taken? Well, uh, not too long, actually. So. Um, Pretty pleased with that, so I can just close that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to minimize that screen here. I'm going to just uh, close that for the time being. Shall I save it? Yeah, I'll save it. And I'll just put uh, test, so I've got it on my desktop here. Okay, but essentially I've downloaded this file, so I might just have to go and check my download folder. Let's see, just a uh, See desktop, downloads, and here's my swagger. I'm just going to load it out here just so we can see it. And um, here's my swagger uh, Collada file, DAE file. Now to easily get this accessible, I'm just going to simply come down and just drag this onto Photoshop. And I'm just going to leave it at the standard settings here, but of course it's 3D, you can increase the file size um, depending on what you want to do with it and what resolution, but um, even because it is scalable anyway, but I'm just going to go OK. And yes, 3D space, that's exactly what I want. So here's my file here, and um, if I just Command plus this a little bit, just to get it up here, and um, of course just on the file here, I just might want to go to 3D space, so I've just got that, and uh, should be able to just click on that when it's in a 3D environment, and if not, I might just come through here into the window, and workspace, 3D, but I'll tell you what, I'm just going to go straight to my motion, okay, so straight to the motion here, I'm just going to click on that and just move it around where I want, we are wanting a walking scene, and let's just see what we get in here. Okay, there's my walking scene. What you can do is you can just click. I think it's just a, I'll just bring it down a little bit so we can see everything. Yeah, just down on the tool set, so I don't actually have a audio track here. But um, what you can do is you can just have it um, either just repeating once or actually just walking on the spot as well, okay? So just in the settings, I think they're just here. Oops, I might just have to stop that. It's just gonna come up and uh, 
stop that with the keyframe. Takes a little bit of power to run that. Uh, just media file, track file, click here in the document. And uh, just in the timing, it should be just up. Ah, here it is. Just to loop playback. And I can have different resolution as well. So just here. And uh, should be looping through here. Uh, I might actually have to just drag it down to the end point so it'll just loop on the timeline here because I think it goes through here. And just at this point, it stops. So if I just drag this in, we should actually just get it looping from that point. Okay, so if I just play it again, and it should be looping around there, provided I've taken it to the right point. But anyway, you don't have to have um, just still images in 3D. You can have motion graphics. This is all with Fuse, Mixamo, and Photoshop. So enjoy using these tools. Thanks.